All right, he just posted a new clue. It says, find Mr. Franklin along the crookedest street. Let's go. It's a San Francisco scavenger hunt, and we're playing along tracking the latest clue for cash to the world famous Lombard Street. We came over here like super fast, like the second the tweet came out. The search for dollars, sometimes just affixed to parking meters, has taken people all over the city. Thanks to a self-described one percenter on Twitter with the handle at hidden cash. According to his profile, it's a social experiment for good. He hides money, then tweets out the clues. One of them takes us to the sea lions at Fisherman's Wharf. It's got to be around here somewhere. Where we find at least a dozen people looking. The barbecue's running. I hope my house doesn't burn down because we're looking. <laughs> and if you happen to find the cash-filled envelope, all that's asked is that you tweet a photo. The man behind it all is a real estate investor who tells me that he's heartened to see that many of the lucky recipients are using the money for their own random acts of kindness. Can you tell me why you decided to remain anonymous? I don't necessarily want the spotlight on myself. I do want the spotlight on what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do, but I don't want the spotlight on me as a private person. I have no plans to stop anytime soon. I'm planning to continue this indefinitely into the future. Since it started last week, he's been leaving about $1,000 a day. That equates to 10 separate clues, and we're racing to the next one. All right, he just tweeted that the money is right near the Golden Gate Bridge, and we'll be there in just about a minute. And that's where we find Izzy Miller. Hello. With a crisp bill in hand. I just rolled out of bed and I saw the tweet and ran down here. And somehow managed to be the first person. The envelope wedged in this box. What do you think about what he's doing? I think it's awesome. It's a totally fun thing to do. And the fact that he's doing it in a philanthropic and charitable mindset just makes it even cooler. It's old fashioned cash and San Francisco tech coming together for a noble purpose. Dan Simon, CNN, San Francisco.